they will either drive into the adjacent field or they will lose control and drive into homes. And Patrick Sears is fed up. We don't feel that. Um, we don't have the peace of mind that at night a car isn't going to come barreling through our back fence and into our homes. The U of H law student wants something done about what he calls a dangerous dip in the road on Orem. He's been to City Hall. He's called Public Works. He's not been ignored, but the problem persists. And we believe that it's up to us to use our voices now to bring attention to this issue until this issue is resolved. He showed us picture after picture of crashes in the same spot along Orem right behind his home. One of them plowed through the fence in his backyard. Had that car been a few feet off, I mean, I may not be here today to tell my story. We found plenty of evidence today of wrecks passed along the shoulders. Sears is not the only one concerned. It's not safe for, for anybody at all. Asha Wilson is afraid to sleep. The sound of car wrecks is now something that um, I listen for, um, especially at night. Dennis Henderson is ready to move if something doesn't change. It's, it's bad. I mean, everybody talking about getting from over here, and I'm one of them. But, uh, You're thinking of leaving? Oh, yeah. The city did add a caution sign in August, and they repaired asphalt in July. We contacted Public Works. A spokesperson told ABC 13 today the city has 14 311 calls about street conditions on Orem in the last 24 months. That section of road is being evaluated as part of the mayor's directive to develop a comprehensive plan to identify which city streets are in need of serious repairs. There is no immediate plan to reconstruct. Sears is tired of waiting. He wants something done now before someone gets seriously hurt or worse. And I'm just afraid that at one point someone, a child or someone inside their home is going to lose their life.